at the end of the day, it's, it's a completely unpredictable system. We don't know when the ambulance calls are going to come in. We don't know uh, where they're going to come in. Now at 6, Local 5 brings you on a ride along with Gold Cross Ambulance first responders. A look at a day in the life of an EMT next. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Michelle McCormack. And I'm Tom Zalaski. Frontline workers have dealt with this COVID-19 pandemic for more than a year now. Medical technicians are critical to that frontline defense 24 hours a day, seven days a week. But what is a day in the life of an EMT really like? Local 5's Eric Richards rode along to find out. We always consider that the word emergency is objective. Um, each person has a different definition of what a true emergency is, and they have different resources available. Gold Cross Ambulance has been providing emergency services to the Fox Valley region for over 50 years. Gold Cross really is the only transporting entity that exists in this area. The backbone of Gold Cross is the dispatch center. Behind me is um, what we call our call predictor. So. We utilize this system for really two things. We utilize it to determine where the most likely um, spot is within our regional service area where calls are going to come in. The call predictor takes three years worth of call data, analyzes it, and determines where the next call will likely come in. Dispatch can then strategically assign a unit or units to that area. It also will uh, let us know what the most efficient routes of travel are and determine what an ambulance can touch in eight minutes or less. Response times are very important in medical assist calls where minutes matter in arriving and treating patients. I let Algemi or Winnebago know whoever's the closest is coming and that's how it goes. And then as the screen updates with notes, I try and update my crews with notes as well. No two calls are ever the same. That is what we're learning as we're out here on this ride along. All of the employees here say complacency is not a part of their vocabulary. They treat every patient differently, providing them the very best care that they can. Every day is different. Every family we interact with, you hold a piece of them for the rest of your life. So it's been very rewarding. And a huge responsibility. Trying to get them out from the basement all the way up here to get them over to one of the hospitals to get interventions done. So he's probably going to get a scan done of his head, trying to get his vitals and things like that while fighting with them. But we have no history. And that's kind of an unknown situation at this time. Oftentimes, we don't think about an EMT unless we're in an emergency situation and need help. It's a job that has been displayed on TV shows and in movies, but you don't get the real sense of the job unless you're on the front lines. Every day is a new opportunity. So every day is kind of like you're continuing education. You show up, you do your same assessment on every single patient, no matter who it is. You always start out with like a basic assessment and move into something more advanced. Like many businesses, they are hiring and looking to expand services throughout the region. They provide training in-house and stay up to date on certifications. Also a reminder now, when you see the emergency lights and hear those sirens, move over to the right and let them pass. Eric Richards, Local 5 News. Gold Cross also answers the call to natural disasters, including the hurricane in Louisiana earlier this year. We have more from Eric's ride-along and what it takes to do the job right now on our website, wearegreenbay.com.